how to edit videos for Instagram using InShot. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from Daytips.com helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online using simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. So if you are a serious entrepreneur, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. So in this video, I'm speaking about Instagram and specifically the InShot app and how you can utilize it to create attractive videos on Instagram that appeals to your target audience and helps you to gain a following on Instagram, maybe for your business page or for your profile. You can use this InShot app to really create stunning videos. So let's take a look at it. So as you can see, I'm on InShot on my mobile phone at the moment. And the first thing you wanna do is click video. They also have photos and collages that you can create and maybe I'll do further videos on those in, in the future if you guys want that. Make sure you leave me a comment, let me know in the comment section. But let's go on to create a new video. And when you create a new video, what's important to note is you can actually choose a video that is already on your phone. So you might want to pre-record the video first and then go into the InShot app and select what video it is that you want to actually use. So this is a video that I've recorded today and this is what it will look like inside of InShot and you have basically different editing options down here. You have trim, you have canvas, you have filter, music, stickers, text, speed, background, crop, rotate and flip. Um, so essentially they do what they say. So you can um, actually trim if you only wanted to add a certain section of the video then you can trim what sections of the video you want uh, to kind of chop out and what sections you want to keep by using these little toggles here um, you can actually zoom your selection as well uh, if you wanted to kind of see it more clearly you can choose the cut section so if there's a section that you actually wanted to completely cut out then uh, maybe there was this chunk or this time frame between this time frame and this time frame you can cut that completely out you can also split your video as well. So you can choose what section of the video you wanted to split. I mainly use the trim uh, section. You might want to use the cut section as well, um, but I mainly use the trim section when it comes to uh, InShot because it just makes it easy. If there's a, an intro you didn't want or an outro you didn't want, then you can easily just trim it and just keep what you want. And then when you're finished with it, you can press that tick button and um, it will save your changes. Um, your canvas is really cool as well. So um, when you click on that, you can change how your video fits. So this will have no frame. This is how it looks in the full frame. If you wanted it fitted, then it looks like that. And this is really cool because you can add text to the top and the bottom. And I'm going to show you that in a sec. Uh, you can have it on the bottom. So maybe you just wanted text on the bottom or stickers on the bottom or something like that. And you can utilize this particular frame um, or you can do the bottom frame as well. So I'm going to stick to the fit frame and save that. And I want to show you the filters as well. So you have different filters and effects that you can put on the video. Uh, maybe if you're going for like some sort of dramatic effect, then you can utilize that um, that feature. You can also add music. So hey, this is a quick video. That's your audio track and you can add tracks from their library. So let's add a track, uh, a random track. So I'm going to click use, and that now adds the track to my, uh, my video. And obviously if I save that, then that will save the track in there. So that's really cool. But you can also, um, if you like, if I delete that, you can add tracks that are already on your mobile phone. So if you go to my music, then you can select what track you want to add. You can also open from and select what tracks you want to add to that as well. And you can actually record audio into this as well, which is quite cool. Um, and then going backwards again, you can add stickers. So, you know, Instagram is all about engagement and trying to get people to click on and watch your video. So you might want to add a sticker um, that kind of emphasizes whatever point you're speaking about. So for example, if I added a smiley face sticker and put it up here, um, then I can do that and save that. And here I can just kind of 
show how long I want this, this smiley face to last for in the video. If I only wanted it to be five seconds, then I will basically um, just have it for five seconds. So I can literally play this video, this video and determine how long. So if I wanted it to be a bit longer, then I can tap on it and pull it. So it's a little bit longer. If I wanted it to be for the entire video, then I can stretch it till the end of the video and stretch it to the beginning of the video as well. Um, and it's, that's a similar thing for text as well. So when you click on text, you can click, click on this little keyboard tab here. Um, and if I wanted to say being happy, then I can add that in there. And I can also click on this, the, the colors tab to change my color. If I wanted to, maybe I wanted it to be red. I can also change the um, font. If I wanted it to be more, a little bit more prominent, then I can do that. And when I'm happy with it, click on that tick button, drag it on top. And now it says being happy. And if I wanted that again to be on the full video, then I, all I have to do is drag this along, drag this little line along here and bring it until the end. And then you can save that. And one thing I really like about InShot is they make it really super easy for you to actually add text to your video as well. Uh, because on the Instagram feed, sometimes someone might see your video but they haven't clicked the audio. So all they can see is your mouth moving. So you might want to add text underneath um, and you can do that. Hey, this is a quick video. So I might want to transcribe that. I'm saying, hey, this is a quick video. Hey, this is and I want it to start here because that's where I start speaking. And as you can see, the text kind of of uh, this this uh, particular text doesn't really work with what I'm trying to do. So I can change that, and that looks a little bit better already. Hey, this is a quick. And then you can edit the timing as well. Hey. So if you want it, it's coming a little bit earlier, so it matches when I'm talking. Hey, this is a quick video. I'm gonna... And I stop talking there, so I can put. Hey, this is a quick, quick video. video. So I can edit this and pull the text down here. This is a quick video. I'm going to use this video for my in shot. And then, you know, I would basically continue doing this up until I've transcribed as much of the video as I wanted. So um, as you can see, they make it really simple and easy for you to add text. So you may, you may have seen videos like this on Instagram where there is text as well as video. This is one of the ways that you can do that as well for your videos. Um, you can also speed up the video as well. As you know, Instagram have a time stamp time limit on how long your videos can be. So if your video is a little bit too long, but you want to get the whole video in, then you can upload your video into InShot, click on the speed button and speed it up a little bit. Click that uh, save button and you can see it speeds up the video. So as you know, if, if, you, if you want your video to be shorter, but still get all of the information in, then speeding it up a little bit might help you with that as well. Um, you can also change your backgrounds. So whatever background color you want, um, you can basically change that. You can add a, add a blur as well if you wanted to, um, which is quite a cool feature, I guess. Um, and yeah, that's, main, that's the main features. I mean, you can crop your video. Um, when you click the, the crop section, as you can see, it has like default sizes for Instagram, for YouTube and TikTok as well. So depending on, you, you can use this this app, obviously not just for Instagram, but for other platforms as well. Um, you can rotate the video. So if you wanted it to be rotated, then you can do that. And you can also flip the video as well um, if you wanted to do so. So, you, so it gives you some basic options here of how you can actually edit your video to put on Instagram or wherever else you wanted to put it on the internet. So I really do hope this video brought you value. Um, if you are a company or an entrepreneur or someone using Instagram for business purposes, I highly recommend also downloading my formula, which is behind me. It's the free guide to generating leads and sales online. Um, so if you're trying to sell more of your product or more of your service using Instagram, 
make sure you go and download your free copy. I'll leave a link to it somewhere on this screen and also in the description down below. So make sure you go and get that. But I really hope this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comments section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.